Let's grow some bean sprouts. Welcome to Keep On Growing. I'm Mike Van Duzzi and today we're going to be talking about bean sprouts. Now, you might be thinking, wow, those are really green. And usually if you've seen bean sprouts in the store, they probably don't look like this. You're used to just seeing the stems and these are a little bit thinner. I ordered these beans online. They were organic and it's the first time I got them from this company. And the beans were really small. We'll show you them here. In a little while you can see how small the beans were and I had some like that before and when I ordered these I knew what these were going to turn out like but I didn't feel like returning them so I just went ahead we're going to grow some bean sprouts and uh, I'll try to find the bigger bean the next time but if you can find a big mung bean you can get a big thick stem but I tasted a couple of these it still has a taste we're going to go ahead and use these now the reason why it's green is because I had them under Brad's hidden harvest grow lights that I've been using and uh, oh by the way Brad is not going to be selling the grow lights anymore that's a sad day for us because I've been using them for a few years now and I really enjoy them they work really well but uh, he said because of supply costs you know the cost of supplies are going up that, that he just can't keep up and uh, I kind of feel his pain because all of the downspouts and and the food grade containers and the, the grow boxes that we sell here on this channel the prices of everything have just gone up uh, really high and and I raised the price a little bit but you know I don't want to raise the price on y'all too much so uh, we're kind of feeling it in the pocket and uh, you know unfortunately for Brad he decided you know he's better off doing something else so he's not gonna be making the grow lights anymore but I'm not sure how many he has left. A few weeks ago, he, he had about 80 of them left, and he was giving free shipping on them. So uh, you guys can check out Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Make sure he's still got some. If not, you know, uh, like I said, we're going to have to figure something else out because lots of people ask me what kind of grow lights I use, and I always say Hidden Harvest, and uh, I haven't used any other ones. So maybe it's time we're going to have to start experimenting with some grow lights here. So um, back to the bean sprouts. We're going to harvest this. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to grow it this way. Now, you guys seen this is just the ramen container, right? And you guys have seen, I'll put a little video up, that uh, we've grown sunflower sprouts and pea shoots with these. These work excellent for it. This is free. You know, the I think the soup is like less than a buck that you actually eat. So you're going to eat the soup. And, and remember, we said these things usually go into the recycling bin. And we're trying to find stuff to grow with. It's food grade and it's stuff that we've already got so you don't have to spend any money. So um, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and eat this. We don't mind that they turned a little more green. Like we said, they sat under Brad's uh, grow lights. And believe it or not, this was just one day. Last night when I went to sleep, I just uncovered it. I'll show you a little video of that. Up by the grow lights, I uncovered it. They were still yellow. I took the cover off so that it could get some airflow in here and and left it like that overnight. The timer came on in the morning, kicked on the lights, and when I went in there later this afternoon, they had already greened up. So this is just one day under the grow lights. Now I don't mind it because I've tasted some. The leaves are still tender. It's not going to hurt you any to eat it like that. And it's a bunch of chlorophyll, right? So uh, healthy stuff for you. We're going to go ahead and harvest one of these. I'll show you how easy it is with this grower, which is actually two, right? See this one here? And that's what we do with the pea shoots and the, the sunflower sprouts and that. We've just got one, and after I clean it out, I'll show it to you. One ramen container that catches the water and one with holes in it. Basically just like your 10-20 trays, just like the ones that you put soil in and, and when you water it, the water drains down through the bottom. It's the same concept with this. You know, so actually if you want to use those, you can, but if you want to use something that's free that you've already got, you know, free is always better, right? Hey, we're going to go ahead and cut one of these. 
We're going to use it in a little stir fry. My wife's got some uh, portobello mushrooms in there. It's going to be awesome. And as you guys can see, we're getting our kitchen set up. We're excited about that. So that's a new part on this channel. We're actually going to be, you know, cooking things up. We've got, you know, we're getting our spices, trying to get everything set up. So it's kind of haphazard right now. But we've got the uh, shelf with all of the, it's going to have all the microgreens on it. And right now we've got some kale over there. Uh, the rest of our garden outside is pretty much toast. We've about just let everything go. We've harvested what we could. We had pak choy and kale, amaranth, all different things, basil. Uh, we, we harvested everything and, and I'm just letting everything rest right now. We're going to clean it up because once we get this cooking channel started, I want to show you guys from beginning, uh, we're, we're going garden to plate, right? Farm, farm, farm to table. And I want to show you guys right from the beginning without us having anything out there. We're going to grow microgreens. We're going to get those started. We're going to show you guys different recipes. We're going to be cooking things up. You know, not everything might have to do with garden, but we're going to show you every day when we come on to cook. We're going to show you what microgreens are growing, you know, the stages they're growing, going through. And then uh, we're going to show you different things that we cook with them, how we decorate with it. Then we're going to take them, transplant them into downspouts or other containers and watch them grow and all the while they're growing we're going to be cooking stuff up it's going to be fantastic i'm i'm excited about it and uh the cool thing about the cooking show is like when you watch on tv you're just a spectator right you, you just watch you, uh, if you miss something you have to rewind or uh, there's no one to ask on a cooking show if you guys tune into the live stream you're going to be able to be in the chat if you miss something like you miss an ingredient, you can just ask what it was. Keely's going to be working the control. She can answer you. She's going to be popping quite uh, comments up on the screen, and I'll be able to answer them too. Uh, you guys can join in the chat. If you guys have any input, if you've cooked the same things, you can let us know. If you got any questions about any anything, you just pop them in there, and then we'll take care of it. So it's going to be an interactive cooking show. It's going to be awesome, and sooner or later after we get set up you know it's gonna be a little rough in the beginning you know any anything is that you get started um, but we're gonna you know want some of you guys to jump on here too if you guys want to jump in and ask your question live you know you can be on YouTube with us or if you want to um, actually cook you know maybe we can set something up and actually have me and you cooking at the same time it's gonna be all kinds of cool stuff that we can do so can't wait for that to happen so let me go ahead I usually use mine. I'm going to get me uh, uh, an extension cord, and this is just an electric knife. You don't have to use this. In fact, this is so small, you can just take it and just cut it, you know, with a pair of scissors and put it in there. I'm used to doing this. If you use one of these, be careful. They're very sharp. They'll take your finger off. But I'm going to go ahead and let me get my extension cord here. We're going to harvest one. We're going to clean it out, and I'm going to show you how we grew these bean sprouts. It's very, very simple. So let's go ahead and just try one right here. All we're going to do is let the water drip. And that's clean water because every day, just like any kind of sprouts or microgreens you're growing, um, when we have a self wicking container, we just leave it. But when you have something like this, what I do is two or three times a day, pick it up, I dump that out, right? And then I come in and just rinse this under gentle water. You know, don't have the water going full blast on it. Gentle water, make sure everything gets a little wet and then it drains back into here. Now, when it gets to about this stage, make sure that you've got a little bit of water left in there for the roots to be in, right? So let's just go ahead and usually just take it just like that. Make sure this is on. Just do it this way. Anywho, there's that much of it. Might have come unplugged. All right, so my electric knife that I got at a thrift shop for $3 after all these years, finally went kaput. Can't get it to start. Electricity is all working, so uh, option B, which that's good anyway. It's not as neat. You can see how nice and neat 
you know when you cut it with the electric knife you can get it right there at the top this is good because with this container down here where everything stays if the mold starts to grow or mildew it'll start down there and up here where air is flowing you can be all right so usually you can trim it off there that kind of helps so i know people are going to say you're wasting a lot of bean sprouts but this is the way i like it and if you want to grow them in a jar you can but i used to do that and they would be like a tangled mess and i don't know about you but you know some people don't like certain textures um i can eat just about anything but uh some people that i was cooking for they didn't like the roots you know they said they liked the flavor of the bean sprouts but they didn't like the roots on it and uh when you grow them in a jar you get a lot of roots this right and some of them said they didn't care for that so I like to do this let me bring this in here for you you can see how those are get a little close up so see all those micrograins just out of that one little ramen tray you get all these micrograins this would be excellent to take it and just toss it on your salads or toss them in your soup not even have to cook them up in that excellent yeah it just tastes like bean sprouts but look at all that that you get from one of these all right now we're going to show you i lost some of them here table's clean so we're going to keep those now let me show you how we grew this okay it's real easy let's go ahead and take one of these and clean them out dump the water out here all right so you want one container right I'm going to do to clean this out is we're just going to pull it up and like a lot of people said you know you're wasting stuff but to me I don't really like eating I don't like eating all those roots so if you like it you know good you know good for you go ahead you know eat those but I just take that to my compost you can see how you know it's nice and clean right all I'm going to do is trash can here without even wiping it out you know, is that clean so now if you're at home doing this go ahead and wash these out wash rinse dry but I'm just going for the sake of television I'm going to show you how I'm doing it here if you guys watched the other video where I grew um, pea shoots or I grew sunflower uh, sprouts you're going to know that I put a bunch of holes in this and all I did was I took a soldering iron and just soldered a bunch of holes. Now you can take a drill and do it, but the soldering iron makes it a lot smoother, right? So it's pretty cool, you know, just make sure you're doing a well ventilated area. I do mine outside and basically you just put that in there. I took my sunflower seeds and Put them in a jar. This is just a jelly jar, but we're not going to get fancy, you know, so we're, we're not talking about going and buying a sprouting jar and, and spending all kind of money. This is free, right? This is free. You probably, you know, instead of tossing it in recycling, just go ahead and save it. Use a mason jar, whatever you've got. And all I did was take some of them and soak them overnight. And this is just a little strainer that goes down I think it's to make tea or something you you guys have got strainers around your house you can use any strainer you got this one's small enough just to fit on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the top here and just dump all the water out all right and then we just take our mung beans and I'm just gonna pour them in here Spread them out. And you're ready to go. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and leave them in this jar. Rinse them out a couple times a day and let them go ahead and sprout just like you would do sprouted lentils, right? 
and then uh, after they've sprouted you can toss them in here but sometimes if you let them go too far you know and the roots are kind of long you'll dump them into this container and a lot of the roots will be aimed down and those will go through the holes and a lot of roots will be aimed up or sideways or all, all kinds of ways right so when you go to uh, they start searching for water you're keeping a lid on this the whole environment's wet it really doesn't know which way to go kind of like on the ground where it, you know it, it knows which way to go and you can have roots going all different directions and a lot of these seeds will actually die so what I do is you know when they're like that go ahead and set them in here take another container which I don't have one with me so we're just gonna do this because we're gonna harvest this up too right just take another container go ahead and spritz it if you want get a little wet put it over the top and that's it now just take that and it's not true set it and forget it you know we're gonna have to come in here and two or three times a day you want to take it take this lid off take it to the sink dump out whatever water has accumulated in the bottom you know that's what's draining through here right so get rid of that water run this under your um, faucet don't blast water on there just kind of running up gently under the water set them back down in here let that water drain off on its own cover it up set it back there and and just leave it do that two or three times a day they'll start to sprout and most of those seeds will know you know the roots will know where to go that the water is down below so they'll start going down and really and it didn't even take seven to ten days for this i think that this took like about five days so in no time you're gonna have you some bean sprouts and just like you see me set up here where these guys are ready to harvest and i've already got some already soaking and ready to go you just keep them going over and over again so that you can harvest some put these back in we're going to go ahead and eat these we'll probably let those sit in the refrigerator for two or three days you know we don't eat bean sprouts every single day and have you some more going uh, in the meantime and, and you have a constant supply if you go into the store and you get a, a pint of bean sprouts it's at least a couple of bucks so you know if you eat a lot and you keep doing it over and over you know you can save you a whole lot of money so that's pretty cool way to grow bean sprouts and have something in your house in your kitchen you don't need grow lights you don't need anything fancy um, I think what I forgot to mention is you want to keep these in the dark all the time if you want a little bit of green on them take the lid off on the last day but basically you want to grow them in the dark and the important thing is that you open this up rinse it out and do that two three times a day I would do three to four times because you're actually reducing your chance of mildew by opening this up letting it get some fresh air rinse it off and then put it back on if you leave this closed up and you did do like set it and forget it and didn't didn't mess with this you have a much uh, greater chance of mildew and mold being in there because it's it's a stagnant area and it's closed up you want to go ahead and at least you know get get some fresh air in there rinse them off and you'd be just fine like i said we've just got i got the compost over here and you can see you know there's no mold or mildew in there you know there might be a microscopic level but anything that we can see you can't see it in there chickens will love that Alrighty, you guys get out there grow some of your own food i'm excited about this uh, cooking show that we've got going it, it's coming really soon guys uh, had a little bit of a hiccup i was ready to go a couple of weeks and like get started start building everything out and and getting the live stream going i got to teach my wife how to work all the controls and everything and one of our dear friends that we've known about 20 years uh, decided to move and they have a huge house it's one of the houses that my wife has painted you know something like almost every room and uh, they needed help moving and we've been spending the last month uh, packing and cleaning and patching walls um, just you know getting everything ready uh, uh, for the new buyers so we got a little sidetracked uh, besides that you know I've got you know my other stuff I have to make grow boxes for everyone so I've got to take time to do that so this kind of got put on the back burner so late at night when we're done with all our other work we come in here and we're starting to get stuff you know set up we're moving things in um, Keely's learning how to how to do the streaming software and we're gonna be there pretty soon it's gonna be awesome so you guys 
go ahead don't forget to like and subscribe and turn the notifications on so you can tell when, whenever we go live if you miss a live stream you can watch it afterwards on a replay but I really think you can get the fullest experience if you watch it during a live stream because you'll be able to ask questions we're going to be on a lot next month or this month rather uh, once we get started so if you miss one or two you know don't worry about it we're going to be on all the time if uh, your favorite teams you know football is, is on don't feel bad go and watch that and then catch us on the replay but whenever you all get the chance go ahead and catch one of the live shows because it's it's just going to blow your socks off Alrighty, get out there lift inspire keep on growing and be the change we'll catch you later